Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how to implement make model year scenarios using RSP Designer. To begin with, let's look at an application. This is a CRM application we have been building where we have some, some lookup tables of make which basically shows me the two makes that I have, GM and Toyota. And for the two makes we basically have our two models for each of them. GM has two models and Toyota has two models and for each model we basically have one or more years in which they exist as you can see Camry has three years, Corolla has three years, Corvette has three years and so on. Now the basic implementation that comes out of RSP Designer without any customization is if you basically add these fields into a another entity like user account system will automatically understand that it's going to be a drop down list as it can and it will show you all the valid values. So under make it shows you the two makes but under model it shows you the four models and under year it shows you all the years. Since the years are the values are the same it also shows you their primary keys. But this is not the use case that we would like to work with. We would like to work with where models are only applicable when make is selected as well as it, it should only show you the makes which are uh, it should only show you the models which are valid for the selected make and similarly for the year. Let's go back to RNSP Designer and see how easy it is to implement it. In this case, uh, we will basically go back to the uh, the model because make by default will show you all the makes, which is fine. The very first field is a model ID, which basically we would like to limit based on the make that is selected. So in this case, we will go to the model ID, go to the data sources, and go to the model ID uh, query, and we will edit it. In reality, if you think out loud here, we would like to limit the models so that the model make ID is equal to the make ID of the selected field on the form. So in this case, we will basically want to implement the same where clause and we are saying in the application in the model table, the make ID is equal to the form. In this case, we have a ability to implement very easily using a formula. I can say it's a UI control which is a make ID. So let me just recap what we are really trying to say is when we are displaying model values their make ID should be equivalent to the make ID of the field which is on the UI. Now once I have implemented this I can click OK and finish and I can build it. While we are here, we can take care of the year ID also because year ID now is dependent on the model ID, unlike the last case where model ID was dependent on the make ID. So now I click on the year ID. Year ID has its own data source, and I go to year, da year ID data source and click on edit. And now I can apply the filter in the same, uh, same kind of a similar definition where year table model ID is equivalent to formula right click UI controls model ID field value basically it's going to say model ID selected value so now that we have implemented these two formulas let's actually rebuild the application should be pretty quick only one or two pages built and go back to the application of course system will ask us to uh, log in again Logged in pretty quickly. So now, just to share with you, everyone, we basically can now click on Add, and right out of the box, if you click on Make now, we see the two makes. If I click on Model, we don't see any model as we expected, as well as we don't see any year as we expected. So as soon as I select the GM as a make, I do see the models for the GM. And if I go back to GM and select Toyota, I do see the models for the Toyota. If I don't select any model, my ears are still not shown, which is also what we expected. Then as soon as we basically select one of the models, the ears are visible. So as you can see, just by defining a where clause on a dependent dropdown, it's very easy to implement make model ear implementation in RNSP Designer. Hope you enjoyed this video and keep looking for more. Thanks for watching.